Good morning. Today we are in Antequera, which is one of Spain's white towns. There are a bunch of these cute little towns all throughout southern Spain. We happened to pick this one because it was closest to El Caminito del Rey that we did yesterday. It's only an hour from the Caminito del Rey. It's also only about an hour from Malaga. And you can easily do it as a day trip because you can drive, you can um, take the bus. There's lots of options to get here. And we're going to start our day visiting the Alcazaba, which the Alcazaba is just an Arabic word for fortress since the, um, there was Muslim rule here during, oh, for a long period of time, there's Alcazabas in all, most of the towns here in Southern Spain. We went to one in Malaga earlier this week. Right next to the Alcazaba is the Real Colijata de Santa Maria. And also you can see some Roman baths from a viewpoint. Uh, there's beautiful views from up here. You're on top of the city, so lots of little overlooks to see the cute little white houses in the town. So this is a must-see when you're here in Antequera. We're gonna go into the Alcazaba now and show you what that looks like. We finished our visit to the Alcazaba. It is four euros a person. Definitely worth it for the views. It comes with a free audio guide. You can either use your phone um, and headphones or they give you like the little hanging recorder thing that you can just listen to the guide as well if you don't have data on your phone to get it. Uh, the tour takes about an hour and it mainly talks about the history of the Spanish taking the fort from the Muslims. It's interesting, definitely useful for the context for sure, and I would recommend listening to it. There's also sections for the baths, the collegiate um, church, and the viewpoint. You can also visit the Colegiata Church, which isn't an active church anymore. Never heard of, co of a Colegiata, but it's a church just above a parish, but below a cathedral because it doesn't have a bishop full time. Like I mentioned though, now it's no longer an active religious building. It's normally just there to visit for the architecture, which is a mix of Gothic and Renaissance. And during the holidays, so we're here in December, there's actually an exhibit um, for families. This year, it's about Lord of the Rings. In the past, they said they've had Harry Potter and Marvel, which is super fun. I think it's a little bit more expensive this time of year because of the exhibit. So it's five euros a person if you want to visit that. Um, I think normally it's like three if they don't have the fancy exhibit, but I'm not 100% sure. Or you can get a combined ticket for seven euros a person for both. So. Definitely a fun thing to check out as well. We just didn't really have the time today, so we're not gonna go in. And we're not really big Lord of the Rings fans. I've, confession time, never seen all of them. So <laughs> we are now just walking through the streets of Old Town, which are beautiful. These just white houses that are gorgeous. You're gonna wanna stop and take pictures everywhere, of course. And then we are going to head to lunch in a unique place. We stopped at the Municipal Museum and they have some interesting artifacts. We didn't have a lot of time to spend there, but we wandered a little bit. So it's free. If you have time, definitely worth a stop in to see what they have there. And on our way back, we also stopped and bought some treats from the convent of the Enunciacion. And we're excited to try them. We haven't tried them yet, but it's kind of a fun little thing to buy them from the nuns there. And then for lunch, we went to the Plaza de Toros to eat inside the bullring. 
I made a reservation because I thought it might be busy. We were like the only ones there. It was really fun. It was a cool experience to just kind of be sitting there. And it's an interesting way to see the bull ring without obviously supporting a bull fight. And so they don't actually use the bull ring for bull fights very often. Some locals said that's like five to six times a year on like the, um, the holiday, the special fair days of the city. And even if you don't want to go eat there, you can just walk up and look. It's not closed to public or anything, so you can still go see it. The food wasn't super expensive, but it definitely wasn't cheap either. We shared some food. We got patatas bravas and a special dish that is jamón serrano wrapped in pork tenderloin and then breaded and fried. The dessert though was really good. It was called bien me sabe, which is a Spanish um, dish, but also found in the Canary Islands. It's kind of like a custardy cake made with honey, egg yolks, and almonds. And we also had dulce de leche ice cream with it. Very good. So fun experience to try, um, but we're gonna keep going and move on to our next activity. stop for the day are dolmens, which are these Neolithic burial tomb chambers that were built five to six thousand years ago. First, you can stop at the visitor center, which is super nice. It's really fancy. They have a really cool video that I'd recommend watching. It's in the auditorium, which is kind of hidden in the back by the bathroom. So I would recommend watching that. It's not very long, like maybe 10 minutes, and it gives you a really cool explanation of how they built these dolmens and the history behind it. And then also in the museum, you can actually go in these kind of little fake caves. They have information on the sides, but you can go inside and press a little button so that it'll play the information and tell you more about each dolmen in specific. And so there's three, two that you can see in the main area by the visitor center, and then one that you have to drive about five minutes to come see. The coolest one is the biggest one at the main center called the, um, it's Dolmen Menga. And it's the one that they would talk you through how they built and you just walk inside and you're like, I can't believe this is 6,000 years old. It's really cool. It's, to it's free also, which is always a plus. I've really enjoyed our visit here because everything has felt very affordable. The only money we spent to see things today were to see the Alcazaba. That was four euros each. There's so much to do here. Two days might start to push it, but if you do have two days, you can go out to the Torcal National Park if you want to get um, out in nature and spend some more time here. It is a little colder here than in Malaga. So in the summer, I don't imagine that would be a problem, but in the winter right now, it's December, it's a little chilly. So you can go with like a light coat or a light sweater, just depending on what you're used to, but it's a really sunny, beautiful day. So I wouldn't worry too much about the weather. We are now gonna head to our next stop, which is the town of Nerja, and we will be exploring there tomorrow. So I hope that you've found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.